Let's take a look at the process required to replace the mass airflow sensor on this 2003 Ford Escape with a 3 liter engine. Now today I'm going to install a brand new mass airflow sensor. Now after 20 years in the field as a technician, I understand, yep, there's a time and a place for cleaning, but there's no replacement for brand new. And so we're not talking reman, we're talking brand new mass airflow sensor. This mass airflow sensor comes equipped with a tamper-proof torque spit, as well as two new screws required to install it here. So first off, I'm simply going to disconnect the electrical connector and I'll slide that out of the way. Then I'm going to take my uh, nut driver tool here and I will take the equipped piece and simply remove the two hold down screws as it bolts it into the plastic housing. Once those are removed, I can pick up my old mass airflow sensor and get it out of the way. We also want to look for any debris or signs of damage inside of there. It's always a good tip to make sure that you install a brand new high quality air filter along with your mass airflow sensor. Certainly want to protect this investment here. Once I drop it in the hole, I will take the two equipped screws that come with the new sensor and we'll run them down. Once it's in place, I can make my electrical connection and just like that, you can see we've replaced the mass airflow sensor. Now I want to go in and replace any trouble codes and also on a Ford reset the keep alive memory or the KAM. This is going to clear out the fuel trims and erase any bad behaviors that the control module may have learned with the faulty mass airflow sensor. Now we're going to take it through a drive cycle, let it learn the new short-term and long-term fuel trims, and this should, should be ready to go.